Before we get into the tutorial, I wanna quickly tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Boombox. I use Boombox.io every day to collect production notes and feedback from my mixing clients. Let me show you how this works. After finishing a mix, I create a new project. Then I upload my audio. You can even batch upload multiple files at once. Then I invite my clients, collaborators, or bandmates. They join the project and leave time-stamped mixing feedback for me. Then I take this feedback and make a new mix revision. But instead of creating an entirely new project, I can just create a new version within in the existing project. I upload the new audio and wait for additional feedback. If you want to check this out for yourself, head over to boombox.io and sign up today to get 10 gigabytes of free storage. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video, I want to show you two editing functions that I find are really important to know, but aren't tied to any particular edit tool. These are the join function and the bounce in place function. And technically speaking, we have three functions here, not two. And let me show you because both of these or all three of these functions, you can right click on a selection and go down to bounce and join. And you'll see there's actually three options. So we have bounce in place, join and join per track. So we're gonna start with join because these are a bit simpler than bounce in place. And you'll see that there are shortcuts for all three of these. Join per track is J, join is command J, and bounce in place is control B. So let's talk about join. The join function is essentially a consolidate function. It works differently for audio than it does for MIDI or drummer tracks, but I'll first demonstrate this with audio. So here I've got a synth loop here, and I've got a drum loop here that I've edited a bit. I've sort of cut this up and moved in some different samples and different pieces for the drum pattern, and then I edited up the synth pad here as well. So one thing you may wanna to do to make these two ideas easier to edit and to work with is you may want to sort of join all of these regions and consolidate them together as a new audio region, essentially rendering them together as a new audio region. Now, before we join them, it's very likely that you may want to add really short crossfades to each of the editing points. And I'll show you why. If I play this awaiting arrival pad, listen to the little pop or click you get right there at the edit point. So that pop, we can actually prevent just simply by adding a short crossfade to that edit point. And the same thing goes for the drums up here. Now, instead of using the fade tool or using your fade functions, there's actually another way you can fade. If you drag over all of these, go over to the region inspector here under more, and you'll see there are batch fade options, just like I demonstrated in the previous video. So what I'll do is switch this over to a crossfade and add a short fade like five or six milliseconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And again, you can just double click and type in the length of the fade you want. So if you want a longer fade, like 50 milliseconds, 100 milliseconds, you can do that. You can even adjust the curve of the fade if you like. So if you're working with more transient drum material, you may pull the curve into the negative to keep more of the energy on the right side of the fade. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll make these six millisecond fades. Now, to get back to the join function, remember that join per track is J. So all you have to do is drag over all of these and then press J. And what this will do is it'll ask you if you want to create a new audio file. You just click create or hit return. And what this will do is consolidate all of those individual audio regions into a new audio region, including the fades that I just added. So that's the join per track function. You can do this to one track at a time or multiple tracks at a time, and it keeps all of the audio regions separate. Now for MIDI, if I drag over a MIDI region and hit J, all it really does is it combines the MIDI regions together. So it's pretty simple there. There's no fades or anything you have to worry about. And these do not work for pattern regions. Now, this function does work for drummer regions, but it's a little bit different. So I'm gonna go ahead and just create a new drummer region here. Let's say I have a drummer region that's four bars long and then I have another one and I want to combine them together. I can drag over both, hit J, and it combines them together, but really what it does is it takes two separate four bar patterns 
and makes a single eight bar pattern. And you'll see there, if you just look at the waveform, it actually changes the pattern. So you have to be really careful about consolidating or joining your drummer tracks because it can actually change your drummer pattern. So I don't recommend using this function on drummer patterns unless you specifically want to make a short pattern a longer pattern. So I don't recommend that on drummer regions. Okay, so I'm back to where I was before. Let's use the other function, and that was join, which was command J. What this will do is it'll actually create a mix down of the regions that you've selected. So if I say mix down of audio regions stereo, this will actually combine the drums and pad into a single region. So if for some reason you need to join together multiple regions, that's a way to do it. Now, if you try to do this with audio and MIDI, it will not work. And if you try to do this with audio and pattern regions, it also will not work. Okay, so next let's talk about the bounce in place function. Bounce in place has a lot of different applications, and we will go through a lot of these different applications for bounce in place throughout this series. It'll become particularly helpful when we get into working with flex time and flex pitch when you want to render all of your edits into a new file. But one purpose in particular that we can do right now is converting MIDI regions with software instrument tracks or pattern regions with software instrument tracks into new audio regions on audio tracks. So let's say that I wanted to convert this disco pick bass to a new audio region. All I'd have to do is select these regions or select just the track, which will select everything on the track. And then I can press Control B. This will bring up the bounce regions in place dialog. You can give this a name. So I'll just call this pick bass audio. You can choose whether you want this to go to a new track or on the selected track. This option will only be available if you do this on an audio track, so I'll demonstrate this in a bit. You can choose to leave the source where it is, so that's this region. Mute the source, so do you want to mute the region, or do you want to delete the region? You can also choose to bypass any effects plugins that are on the track, and you can also choose to include any audio tail in the track. So this audio tail is like when you have like reverb that sort of hangs over at the end of the region. Like if you have a, a reverb on an instrument track, it's very likely that the reverb will go further than the end of the region. So that will include that reverb. And this also applies to other time-based effects as well, like delays and echoes. And we haven't really talked about automation yet, but if you have any volume or pan automation on the track, you can choose to include that as well. You can also choose to normalize the audio. So you can turn this on, or you can say just overload protection, which will just prevent any clipping from happening. I'm gonna keep that off. And then you just click okay. And what you'll see it does is it deleted my original MIDI region and also rendered this or bounced it as a new audio file. And that's because when I pressed control B, I accidentally kept this on delete. I'm gonna put this on mute instead. And I'm not going to include the audio tail this time and watch what happens. So instead of including all of that audio tail from the delay or reverb that was on this track, it's just trimmed the end of the region to be the same as the end of the MIDI regions. And then if I want to delete this track and then just keep the audio, I can do that. Now, another thing I find this really helpful for is if you're trying to convert a region from mono to stereo or from stereo to mono. For example, this is a stereo audio region. You can see because there's two waveforms in the region. And you can also see that on the track, there are two interlocking circles here. If I click on that to convert it to mono, and then I press Control B, I can bounce in place again. And this time I'm gonna leave it on the selected track because it's an audio track. And then I'll delete the original. So what's gonna happen is the left and right channels are gonna get collapsed down to mono, and this new mono region is going to replace the region that is currently here. And there we go. So now I have a mono bass rather than a stereo bass. And unlike join, you can use bounce in place to bounce together multiple different regions, even if they're different types of regions. For example, if I wanted to bounce together my synth pad and my analog infinity synth here, I could drag over both of these, press Control B. I'll just call this synths. 
I'll place this on a new track. I will mute the original and then click OK. And what this does is it combines both of these tracks together, which is something that the join function couldn't do. You can also use bounce in place to sort of print audio effects permanently into a new audio region. There's not a lot of reasons why you would do this, but there are some reasons that we'll get to when we get into mixing much later in the series. But let's say, for example, that I wanted to maybe bring out the punch and these drums a bit more. So maybe I'll add, as an audio effect here, under Dynamics, I'll add the Enveloper plugin. And I'll open up the Enveloper plugin. And maybe what I'll do is just add a little front end punch to the attack stage here. And you'll see that if I option click on the fader here, that this additional attack, this additional front end punch is actually going to cause this track to clip. Well, almost. Let's pull it up a bit more. There we go. So you can see we're clipping by 2 dB. What I can then do is with this region selected, I can press Control B. Let's set this to the same track, the selected track, delete the original. I am not going to bypass the effects plugins but this time I am going to normalize the bounce. So what this is going to do is it's going to print the Enveloper plugin into a new audio file, but it's also going to compensate for that 2 dB clipping by normalizing the signal down to below 0, 0.0 dB. And you can even see in the waveform that those peaks, those transients, have gotten punchier. Now we no longer need the Enveloper here because that effect has been printed into the file, but we shouldn't be clipping now. And then with everything together. Now, practically speaking, do you really need to bounce effects into audio regions? In most cases, no. There are some situations with some third-party plugins like vocal tuning with Melodyne or using Vocaline for vocal alignment. These are situations where I often will bounce in place those plugins, but in most practical situations, it's not necessary to bounce your effects into the regions. In fact, I would not recommend it in most situations, but this is just a proof of concept. And a lot of the things I'm demonstrating in this video are sort of in theory and proof of concept rather than used in practice. But as we go through more of this series, the join and bounce in place functions will pop up quite a bit. So I wanted to introduce these here pretty early so there's no confusion later on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.